Today in our 2011 Chevy Suburban, we'll be installing the Takancha Prodigy P2 brake controller, part number 90885. Our first step will be to locate the manufacturer's wiring that we'll be connecting to. If you look near the parking brake actuator or arm, in between that and the brake pedal, you'll see a red wire with a black stripe, a blue wire, a light blue wire with a white stripe, and a white wire. These will be taped or wrapped to a bundle of wires. As you can see, we've located them. We'll need to go ahead and cut them free. Using a utility knife, we'll simply just cut the tape holding it together. Now we'll go ahead and pull them out here. As you can see, the wires are quite long, so we'll go ahead and cut some excess off. Then we can strip back each wire and add our butt connectors. We've got the larger two wires that will get the yellow butt connectors and the smaller two will get the blue butt connectors all provided with our install kit. Now with that done, we'll need to go ahead and attach the pigtail from the brake controller. With the wires already stripped back, we can go ahead and connect them directly to our butt connectors. We'll be connecting the dark blue to dark blue wires. Then we'll connect the black wire from our pigtail to the red wire with the black tracer on the manufacturer's side. We have a white wire from our pigtail to the white wire on the manufacturer's side and a red wire on our pigtail to the light blue wire with a white tracer on the manufacturer's side. On the pigtail side, the dark blue wire is the brake signal that goes to the seven pole of the vehicle. The black wire is the power to the brake controller. The red wire is the chimsel or brake switch and the white wire is the ground wire. Now with all our connections made, we'll go ahead and take some black electrical tape and wrap up the wires. With that done, our next step will be mounting the brake controller bracket. Using the screws provided with our install kit, we can go ahead and attach it here to the bottom of the dash. With the bracket secured, we're now ready to go ahead and install the brake controller. Once again, we'll use the two screws provided to do so. Now with our brake controller mounted to the brake controller bracket, we're ready to go ahead and take the pigtail and plug it into the back of the controller. Next, we'll go ahead and take a couple black zip ties and wrap up our wires to secure them up underneath the dash. With our wires secured, to clean up our install look, we'll go ahead and cut off the excess from the zip ties. Now we'll need to get underneath the hood. Here, we'll have two wires to connect. But first we'll need to remove the fuse box cover. With the cover out of the way, we can see the two terminals or posts that we'll be adding our wires to. First I'll go ahead and lift up the handle here on the fuse box to give us a little more access and working room. Now located between the inner fender well and the fuse box is one of our power wires. We'll go ahead and take our utility knife, cut the electrical tape holding it in place and route it over to the terminal. As you can see, the terminal is already pre-attached and we can connect it directly to the post. This will go to our larger post. We can then take an eight millimeter nut and secure it. Part number for this eight millimeter nut is 185917. Now for our second wire, it's located further down in the engine compartment below the brake master cylinder and booster. Once again, we'll take our utility knife, cut the electrical tape securing it in its position and route it up to the post where we'll secure it. Now with it over the post, we can go ahead and take the six millimeter nut and secure it. The six millimeter nut part number is part number 185916. Now with both wires run and secured, we can go ahead and tighten them down. Now we'll go ahead and put the junction box handle back in place 
Then we'll secure our wires with a couple of black zip ties. We'll cut off the excess from the zip ties. And we're ready to reinstall the fuse box cover. And with that done, this will complete the install of our Prodigy P2 brake controller, part number 90885. Included was our eight millimeter nut, part number 185917 and our six millimeter nut, part number 185916 for our 2011 Chevy Suburban.